Okay. I've been sick twice this month. I also got pink eye, but I'm here. I survived. So if you were the one who was trying to hex me out of making another YouTube video, trust you will be dealt with. Period. Period. Today I will be once again reading, ranking, and exposing the confessions that you sent in to me. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you want to be included in future videos where I torment you, exploit your deepest, darkest fears. Just like part one, this video was inspired by Deb and Alex. I forgot to mention her in the last video. Love them both. Go subscribe. I asked for these confessions way before I got sick the second time. These have just been simmering on my computer. I'm gonna explain to you how I'm gonna rank these confessions. It's just another Tuesday. Rank number two, I kind of understand. Number three, I'm concerned. Coupon for therapy. Last but not least, I'm calling the police. That shit kind of rhymed. I think with the confessions, I want to start off innocent, sweet, you know, just to like ease us into it. All right, first one, I poisoned my uncle. Never mind. Wow, we're starting this video off with I'm calling the police. I've watched and read so many murder documentaries and books that I now know how to commit and cover up a murder. I mean, don't we all? Just another Tuesday. I once stuck a pen inside my cat's butthole when I was five or six. I don't even know why or what possessed me to do so. Police. When I was eight, my friend blew out my birthday candle, so I told him I hope he breaks his legs. Two weeks later, we were at this clip and climb thing and he fell and broke both of his legs and had no feeling in his lower back for a week after the accident. He strongly believes in karma now. He has never attempted to blow out my birthday candle since. I don't think that's karma, bitch. I think you're a witch. Big sleigh. Wait, like big sleigh? Yep. When we first got my puppy, I accidentally dropped her on her head, and seven years later, she gets lots of seizures. Your poor dog. How would I even rank that? I'm gonna give your dog a coupon to therapy. I like the taste of toenails. That's fucking disgusting. I lied to my therapist, like, a lot. I would say coupon to therapy, but you'd lie to them, too. One time, I was sitting in my living room, and all of a sudden, my grandma starts choking. I sit there next to her and watch her choke, because I thought she was just being dramatic, but no, she died. Police. My dog inhaled one of my used tampons one time and he seemed fine after a day so I just never told anyone about it. Like he ate it so fast that like he inhaled it or was it like a I'm having a hard time visualizing this inhalation of your tampon. I'm concerned. I eat a large amount of cardboard, tissue, and paper on a daily basis. Coupon to therapy. Maybe not therapy, more of like an AA meeting. But instead of alcohol, it's cardboard, tissue, and paper. So I live on a farm. Our barn would over the summer be inv in invested, no, I think it's infested with birds and bird nests were in every nook and cranny. I hate that word. So I thought I would be a great child and knock down all the nests and clean the barn. <laughs> Little me didn't think there would be baby birds in them. My dog was in the barn following me around. When I knocked one of the nests down, eight birds fell out and my dog ate all of them. I cried for three weeks straight. Yeah, you should feel guilty about that. I hope that haunts you forever. I like like squeezing my grandma's used tampons and reusing them. Like if there was a way to take like, I'm concerned, coupon to therapy and police and just like put them in one and send it straight to you, I would. I think I'm madly in love with my uncle dot dot dot. Like he makes me feel some kind of way, you know? I don't know. Me and my cousin Loki dated and he was dry humping me in our family pool. Ah, <sighs> what a visual. My little sister used to do the dirty with my dog. What's with the bestiality? Why is that a thing right now? I like dilfs. Just another Tuesday. So at school we have this one specific bathroom called the sex bathroom and it's in the very back part of the school and the teachers never visit it so whenever I peek in there it's always a massive orgy of teens having sex. I'm gonna call someone and you know who I'm gonna call? The police. I once got into an argument with my dad, and when I went to sleep, I had a dream that I killed him by feeding him brownies laced with Windex and bleach, and I buried him in the backyard. And then a year later, still in the dream, there were a bunch of daisies in the yard. I was like, wow, what could have done that? I can't call the police because it's it wasn't real, but I will give you therapy. I think of you when I fuck my boyfriend. I used a metal spoon to masturbate and people still use it and have no idea. Ew. Yeah, you're you're going to jail. That's so gross. Once I shoved a cheese stick up my ass out of pure curiosity. It broke off trying to get it out and the doctors told me to shit it out. I wish I was joking. That shit was bussin'. 
I kind of get it. As a kid, I for some reason didn't like washing my hands with soap, so sometimes I used to just lick my hands. I had a dream when I was around six years old about a bunch of severed dicks in a pool and Steve from Blue's Clues was the lifeguard. Therapy. Someone who used to go to my school and recently got expelled had been collecting all his bodily fluids in a jar and left it vermenting under his bed. The staff found it when cleaning out his dorm and it had been there for months. When I was younger, I preferred to pee outside, so I would literally make up excuses to go outside like, oh, I'm gonna go pick flowers or some shit and piss in the front yard behind the bushes. I'm gonna go pick flowers. <laughs> God, y'all are weird. I once put my dog's collar on just because I wanted to see if I would like it. I did. You little freaks. I did a full dance routine of Call Me Maybe at the reception of my dad's funeral. He was an amazing father husband, and friend. And before we continue, this is crazy. one time I was going through my grandparents' room and found a stash of dildos. It's always the old people. Old people are freaks. <laughs> Ew. I used to swallow coins. I don't know, I never saw them coming out or saw them in the toilet, so I might just be a human change person at this point. Concerned. So when I was a freshman in high school, I had my agriculture class first period, and I had the 60 year old man as my teacher, and he had a seating chart, and I was the one that was closest to him and facing his desk, and one day, I noticed that his pants were unzipped, and after a little bit of looking, I had noticed he didn't have any underwear on. So you could basically see everything, and I mean everything. And for some reason, my little gay eyes couldn't stop looking at it, and it low-key turned me on, but not really. But not really. For you, therapy, for your creepy 60-year-old teacher who thinks it's cute to go commando, I'm calling the police. I was looking through my mom's closet when I was little to find something. Oh god, here comes a dildo. And I saw an envelope and decided to open it, and it was adoption papers with my name on it. <laughs> Not a dildo. The first time I ever had an orgasm, it was at my gynecology appointment in front of my mom. I found out my mom was selling weed and took some edibles and gave them to my younger siblings while babysitting to chill them out. It worked and no one found out. And not you just like outing your mom's weed business. You gotta keep her under wraps. I once lost my V-card during church. Have you lost your V-card multiple times? You said like I once and during church like was church in service. like. Okay. I'm scared of toenail clippers, so I use my teeth instead. I see dead people. Aww. One time, I smashed my dog's tail with a door. On purpose. I watched My Little Pony while having sex. Whatever floats your boat, I'm not gonna judge you. Well, it's kind of fucking weird. Let me set this scene. In fifth grade, this girl that was getting on my nerves had a peanut allergy. So I opened a Reese's and I put it in her bag. When it was lunchtime, she went to grab her lunchbox and in doing so, she touched the Reese's. She started to sneeze and cough and suddenly she couldn't breathe. Thankfully, my teacher took her to the nurse's office, but an ambulance had to come and pick her up from school. She ended up being fine, but I still felt really bad about it. I'm 17 now and I really regret regret what I did and never had the courage to tell her. Yeah, don't tell her. Cause you know what ranking she would give you? This lady came through the drive-thru and she asked for a chalky milkshake, no chalky. She literally said it like that. And then had the audacity to come through again and tell me that's not what she ordered. So when she was leaving, I threw three mail, I threw three, oh my God, this is like a tongue twister. I threw three mail packets into her car and I don't think she noticed. I'm gonna start doing that. Can I get a chalky milkshake, no chalky? One time I ate a whole tampon. I wasn't even a kid at the time, I just wanted to. How are you alive? I snorted my grandma's ashes. When I was little, I would eat the mulch on the playground, and one day I made this other girl eat it, and she had to go to the hospital because of internal bleeding. I put my goldfish in carbonated water to see what happens, and it died. Yeah, no shit. I read Vinny Hacker smut. Vinny Hacker. <laughs> I get it. Reading through all these, a lot of you have either thought about killing someone, some of you are claiming you have killed someone, and a lot of you want to kill someone. When I was little, my sister would always wake up in the night thirsty, and because we couldn't reach the taps downstairs or in the bathroom, I would always use to scoop toilet water out of the toilet and give it to her because there was no other water to reach, and I've never told anyone to this day, not even her. Yeah, don't tell her, because 
I would literally have you sent off. My ex-bestie and I had a threesome with my human-sized teddy bear. We were five and my mom almost caught us. Is it like one of the human-sized ones from Costco? You sick bitch. I once got pulled into a conversation with like four guys because they wanted me to guess who had the biggest dick. They handed me a ruler because girls aren't good at math, assholes. I smiled, broke their ruler in half, and pulled out my own mini one. Like the ones you get in a gift shop or whatever that are super tiny. But I pointed to the two inch mark and said, it's a tie. That's fucking hilarious. One of the guys got mad and I kid you not tried to pull his pants down for proof and told me to measure. I slapped him across the face and left. That is a lot to take in. You really said, well, it's not a competition when you're all whittle. When I was really little, I used to masturbate to Diego from Dora. Not Diego. You said like really young, you're like 20. Once I found out that my best friend that I was madly in love with had a piss cane. So when I was on a call with him, him, I purposely pissed myself trying to turn him on and on that note